Yo guys, how's it going on and welcome back to our video and today as you see by the title and everything like that We're gonna be reacting to uh, again the aftermath of everything that's been happening with the, like, the Logan Paul KSI fight The tweets about it, Logan Paul's video about it, KSI's reaction to it So this could be quite interesting, a lot of people did like the actual previous videos Fair enough they didn't get the best views, however the views doesn't matter It's the actual people watching them right now, what they think, if they're enjoying it and stuff like that So if you are enjoying it then leave a like, comment down what else you would like to see And yeah apart from that guys Let's get straight into the video. So guys, first of all, we are actually going to be starting on YouTube. So guys, as you can see right now, we're on YouTube. This is my own like, subscription fee, my private account. And as you can see right now, we've got two videos. We've got the first one, which is Logan Paul is a sore loser, obviously by this KSI second channel. We've already 4.2 million views in 17 hours. And then if we go further down, uh, it might be not, it might be day before. I don't know, where is it? It's one of these. It goes, Logan Paul, I lost two days, 5.7. Now, to be fair, with KSI like, nearly getting like 1.5 view, million views off of it within 17 hours is crazy. And basically, if you didn't realize, Logan Paul basically explained in this video about like there's a bunch of roasts at the start, which fair enough, I didn't really think was going to help him. But and then speaking about the fight afterwards, why he should have won and uh, he's going to appeal to him. So first of all, we're going to react to this. Bear with me everyone guys, I've just quickly got to get my headphones out, otherwise you'll hear all the audio and through the mic and that's not what you want, so let's just get these in. Um, yeah, oh, I've got a bit of a problem here because the audio is going to cut out as I do it. So, we're going to have a little cut here and then we're back, so give me two minutes. So guys, we are all back. I've got my headphones in right now. Sorry if you can hear any, like, a airy thing. It's my Mac. It's literally just dying right now. So I try and move this mic furthest away if I can. May distort the audio. Hopefully not. But, you know, I'm trying to keep it as far away so we don't hear that awful noise. Now, guys, as we're going to go back onto it, I don't know why I'm still my actual kind of garage band and my recording audio. So let's go over to the thing. Let's watch the video scores but we might have to so uh, bear with me the fight was a split decision the two points that were deducted from me in round four let's say he let me off with a warning by the way i think he should have done because uh he had not given me any prior warnings to pre prior to that if that had happened right fair enough first of all i understand logan paul's thing he's basically saying that there was like obviously no warning at all and i honestly really do get that there was no warning for him that he did punch in the back of the head however when you do go to the conor mcgregor fight and the mayweather conor mcgregor did the same thing and he did get warnings and no points taken away however guys not being funny Logan Paul literally just grabbed him, uppercutted him, and then punched him again on the back of the head. And again, he punched him on the back of the head as he went down. So, that's where I kind of see how the two points was fair. Because, like, again, with Conor McGregor, when he did it, it was kind of subtle and not really big hits. Whereas, like, Logan Paul, he's grabbed him. That's bad. And then he's hit him again twice the way down. So, in my opinion, there should have been a warning, maybe, if he didn't hit him as much and obviously hold him. But, because he did hold him and hit him twice, then that's why I think the two points should have happened. Now, guys, you just said if they deducted one point, it would have been a draw. But to be fair, if it was a draw again, I think people just got annoyed and saw this as like a money-making scheme and just would have gone, to be fair. So, luckily, that didn't happen. Right, I've had enough of this whole Logan Paul thing. I like him as a person. However, you lost. You take it in the chin. He's a bit salty. At first thought, I thought he took it really well. But now, I think he's just more annoyed. I don't think he realized, like, the whole, like, coming back to it, how much that... Like, it would affect him which it has really so to be fair logan paul i understand why you are appealing however nothing is going to come back from it at all like you were being a bit dirty in the fight to be fair even minute we're going to watch ksi's video about it you could have been disqualified if ksi didn't want to carry on so which is fair enough however guys to be fair logan paul you are going to be sorted you did lose it's a big fight it was a big thing that could have happened like you're going to lose a lot or you're going to gain a lot in the fight and unfortunately he did lose a lot but you've just got to take it in the chin it's like he said he's taken a lot of l's in his life however this is just one of them and you've just got to add to it and just grow and be a better person however guys we're going to go to the care size video right now so guys now we're actually going to the care size reason why he actually did lose which is fair enough See, guys, to be fair, I am a KSI fan. I wasn't really bothered who was going to win. I thought, like, they both worked hard. However, I have to admit the same with JJ. Like, he won all three rounds at the first thing. And I don't understand how, like, that judge did give it to him. 
Is he maybe like American? I don't know. So to be fair, a lot of people like these judges because they're American probably may have like put Logan Paul in favor. And obviously this judge did put him as the winner and considering everything like that, but you know, I don't really know. 56 to you from that judge. All because he gave you round one. Think about that. Moving on to round three, I hit you with an overhand that should have counted as a knockdown. Now I know you low gangsters are gonna come at me and be like, Logan slipped! It's yeah, that should have definitely been a knockdown, to be fair. He thought he slipped, but you can clearly see the connection that was on there. Hit him straight in the head, he went fully down, and which I didn't really understand is Logan Paul was holding to his legs if he's like begging for mercy, but you know, that's just odd. We can take a look at it. We can take a look at it right here. Take a look at it here. Take a look at it right here. But guys, skipping forward, I've explained a bit of everything about it. Even he was confused himself of what actually happened and why he actually doesn't understand why he got the two points or like the knockdown even. So like, they're saying that that wasn't like a knockdown, but you can clearly see, and you can see in their faces that they're so confused, which is fair enough. And yeah, apart from that, KSI was basically saying, you're going to appeal, you can appeal as much as you want. I'm still going to hold the belt and to be fair, I completely agree. They're just going to ignore it and not be completely fussed about it. However, guys, now that's their both responses. And let's go all the way over to Instagram. If you don't follow someone called The Bread Fetch, make sure to go and follow them. Because uh, they're really good. They keep me on the news and stuff like that about like what's happening on YouTube and just like beef and just like gossip, really. But guys, going over to it. And I Am Alex actually did tweet out, which I did see from this, is that he's both seen them going at each other again after the fight. And basically saying there's only one way to set it and having another boxing match. Honestly, in my opinion, I think they won't have a boxing match at all. I know JJ won't want it. However, if they do decide to go ahead with it, I will literally just see the whole lot of people lose respect because I think it will just become more of a money thing and people have just clocked on that they just want for money. And to be fair, I've kind of done the same. That I, First one was a draw. I didn't think it was a rig at the start. However, it was a very, very close fight. And now this one's done. Completely done. JJ won. The JJ needs to go and fight a new opponent, which is fair enough. However, I just don't think anything will come from it. But then also, guys, Logan Paul's brother, Jake Paul, is getting involved in it. If you literally just look, it's like basically saying, are you trying to avenge your bro and fight KSI? Obviously, Jake Paul replied in the questionnaire saying, yes, it will happen. Eventually, when KSI realizes that he sucks that he's making music, even that he got paid $1 million for Rick Ross, sorry, I have to quickly go in, and Lil Baby Features, and can't make a career from music. So he would get back into the box me and uh, get a payday, basically. Honestly... If we go and actually see the last fight about obviously what Deji actually did do to Jake Paul and made him so bloody, and Deji didn't really like train, he admitted himself, KSI would just destroy him, right? There is no point in that. Like, Jake Paul just wants that clown. He's basically also saying that he's lost his YouTube, he's not really like bothered about it, he's lost his kind of like, I don't know, enthusiasm, that's the word I wanted, so yeah. He just lost his enthusiasm for it, and now Jake Paul's become so relevant in YouTube that he wants a payday and wants to get involved. In my opinion, if it's gonna happen, Jake Paul needs to fight Gibb. If Jake Paul beats Gibb, then KSI, fair enough, fight, fight Jake Paul. I was about to say some weird words then. But if not, if Gibb beats you, then there's no even point in you fighting KSI. It's just going to be free, pretty much, money for KSI and you. And you're just going to get knocked out at the end of the day. So, really, at the end of the day, that's not what I would do. However, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I can obviously some a lot more YouTuber fights going ahead. Perhaps more like UK ones, which everyone did want, which is fair enough. However, guys, come to the end of the video. If you do want to go and follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram right now, maxanton 318 You're more than welcome to go and follow me. I accept everyone. It is private at the moment, obviously, because, like, you know, just basic account. But this is now my YouTube account. More than welcome to go and do it. It's just me personal, a few little selfies, you know. But apart from that, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video today. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe. Comment down what other things I should do, like I said before. Turn notifications, because I'm uploading, like, three videos today. And, yeah, apart from that, until next time, guys. See ya.